Standard 3, Subject EVS, Chapter Number 22, Who Fulfills Our Needs? In this lesson, we will be learning human needs and occupations, types of occupations, the importance of agriculture, agro-based occupation, nature of industry, information about our district. Human Needs and Occupations Air, water, food, clothing and shelter are the basic needs of every living thing. They are our basic needs as well. But human beings have many other needs besides these. For, exa for example, we need clothes to wear, farmer to grow crops, teacher to guide us, Milkman to deliver us milk, doctor to treat us when we are sick, and carpenter to make furniture. Different people work to fulfill our various needs. Their work fulfills some of our needs as well, their own needs. Such work is called an occupation. Types of occupations There are various types of occupations. They can be divided into four main classes as follows. Nature-based occupations, for example, agriculture, fishing, etc. Manufacturing, making automobiles, making pots, making cloth, etc. Trade, selling farm produce, shopkeeping, providing services, those given by a teacher, doctor, a bank, etc. So these are the four main classes of occupations. The importance of agriculture. Agriculture is an important occupation in our country. Everyone in the country gets food because farmers work in the fields. Our food includes items such as bakri, chapati, rice, dals, vegetables and salads. These items are prepared from crops grown in the fields. Crops like jawar, bajra, wheat, rice, pulses, as well as leafy vegetables and other vegetables are grown in the fields. Other needs are also taken care of through farming. For example, we get sugar from sugarcane. Textiles made from cotton are used to make garments. Farming of fruits, flowers and medicinal plants is also carried out on a large scale. Agro-based occupations Agricultural products can be used to undertake many other occupations. Fodder is created in fields. It is used to feed cows, buffaloes and sheep. Thus, as we cultivate the land, we can raise these animals also. We obtain milk, meat and leather from animals. Grain is grown in fields. It can be used to feed chickens. Fruits grown on farms can be used to prepare squashes, jams and jellies. Sheep, sheep rearing, poultry farming, animal husbandry and fruit processing are all occupations dependent on agriculture. They are called agro-based occupations. Some village occupations are family businesses. Sometimes people carry on the work that their father and grandfather did before them. However, in our country, we can choose the job we want to do. Do you know, in ancient times, man did not know about farming. He would rather wander around in search of food. He used to hunt. He ate fruits and tubers. When man learned how to grow crops, he could get food in one place. There was no need to wonder about for food anymore. He began to have free time. In that free time, many discoveries were made and many industries were developed. Nature of Industry there are two types of industries, one is small scale industry and large scale industry. In industries, raw materials are obtained and then they are processed to make new finished products. 
a potter making pots is a type of industry have you seen how a pot is made look at the pictures now potter uncle first obtains good quality clay to improve the quality of the pots he mixes some other substances in the clay he mixes water in the clay and makes it soft and easy to shape this is called kneading the clay then he turns the kneaded clay on a wheel to shape the pot the pots are baked in a kiln to make them hard and final finished product a pot is in the pottery industry clay is the raw material pots are the finished product the process includes whatever is done to make the finished product that is pots from the raw material that is clay such a process is called industry just as potter uncle makes pots out of the clay other items can be made out of wood bamboo flowers etc if the products are made at home on a small scale it is called cottage industry or handicraft some factories are big let us see some examples of cottage industry or small scale industry papad making making of pot stitching of clothes etc large scale industry some factories are big many people work there with the help of machines your school bus bicycle and paper for your textbooks and notebooks are all products made in factories these are the examples of large scale industries There are such industries in your district also complete the activity using the district map on the next page children this is a district map of mumbai soaps and perfumed oil is made in vikroli and shivri medicines are made at valli textile mill is at parel prabadevi and valli mineral oil refinery mahul leather goods dharavi milk processing are a colony use the table below to see how the raw material industry and finished products are linked sugar cane sugar industry and the finished product is sugar cloth garment industry finished product is shirt jeans frock etc bamboo basket weaving finished product baskets maida bakery industry finished product is biscuits bread etc you may have seen or used the products shown in the pictures write the names of these products in the boxes given below the pictures first one is food grain fruits garland car bread food tire sugar which of the products in the pictures are grown in fields food grains and fruits which products can be made at home garland bread food which products are made in the factories car tire and do you know in some villages towns and cities certain occupations or industries are run on a large scale these industries or occupations become famous because of the craft and the speciality of the product for example the solapuri bed sheets of solapur kolapuri chappals of kolapur the paitani of paitans find out about such industries or occupations in your locality always remember man has developed many occupations however the material he needs for these occupations are obtained from nature nature takes care of the needs of all living beings we must respect nature what we have learnt in this lesson occupations and industries develop out of the needs of human beings types of occupations and industries importance of agriculture what is meant by industry information about industries in the district write the missing links cotton making threads textile 2 
fruits fruit processing jam or jelly iron automobile industry motor car answer these questions in one sentence each what is a raw material answer 1 things or materials readily found in nature are called raw materials 2 what are finished goods when the raw materials are processed into finished products they are called finished goods question 3 what is an industry an industry is a place where raw materials are converted to processed goods question 4 What is a factory? Answer four. A factory is a place where goods are manufactured by machine. Question five. Explain the agro-based occupation. Answer five. Occupations that can be carried out along with agriculture are called agro-based occupations. Example: poultry, animal husbandry. Write the missing link. Cotton, garment industry, textile. B fruit fruit processing jam or jelly C iron automobile industry truck